All right, this is the Undress version 5, and this is an instructional video for some of the features on this very amazing dress. This is not a video on how to change with this dress. That is a different video, so uh, you're going to have to watch a different video for that. But there are quite a few features, and we're going to explain those features one by one here. All right, so this is the back of the dress, and at the back you'll notice there are these buttons, and they're on both sides, and that's how you adjust the, the uh, rear band of the dress, and all you do is unhook it. And some of you may not know this, you just pull. Pull to your desired tightness on both sides. And yes, you want both sides even. So if you pull this, let's say, you know, eight slots to make it tighter, you want the other side eight slots as well to keep this dress symmetrical. And all you do is rebutton it to where you want it. And then when you're done, you can actually slide the excess garter through the tunnel. It takes a little bit of work, but you only have to do this once. So once you do that, the garter goes out of the way and uh, should be done. You can also cut it. We don't recommend cutting it until after you're very sure where you want the dress to be. But you do this on both sides and uh, straighten out the garter in the tunnel. If you do this on both sides, you'll get a perfect fit. And you just do the same with the other side. So another way to make the garter more secure for some of those who think it's gonna slip out is just run the garter through, uh, the button through two holes versus just one. And then you snap it in, it will not go anywhere. That's staying, okay? Okay, now that it's fitted to your back, you can see that you can just pull on the dress and it's elastic, as well as it stretches a lot so you can use it for changing. Um, you set it once and forget it. That's the concept of this dress. You never have to adjust the back. Again, unlike other previous versions of the undress. Really hope you like this feature. Okay, so a lot of you are wondering what this rear snap is. Well, it's a new uh, invention that we put on that allows you to put two straps on the dress versus a single halter top. So watch, we can turn this into a double strap dress simply by taking the um, spaghetti straps, pulling down the cord lock all the way to the end, and then inside the snap, in between the snap and the uh, label, you wanna slip it through after you unsnap the snap, of course. So you slip it through with the cord lock, the black cord lock through. And then when you snap the cord, the snap, the uh, snap, snap it with the spaghetti on both sides of the snap. So it's gonna be in the middle of the two straps. Okay, snap it, snap it together and it'll hold. So you simply adjust it by taking the bottom of the uh, straps and holding them secure and then pulling on the cord lock and pulling up and adjusting the height and boom there you go a double strapped dress you may have also noticed that we have a center loop in the back of the dress we actually have two sides on the left and the right and also in the back center and the reason why we did that is because many of you have asked for a place to have a belt. You guys, some of you want a belt, some of you don't want a belt, some of you want a belt that will stay secure, and some of you want a belt that you can remove. So the best um, thing we designed was a center loop, and what we suggest is tying, simply tying the belt to that center loop so you have the belt handy at all times, and you just let it rest. And then it'll look great on the dress, doesn't bother you, and then anytime that you need this loop, the, the belt, kind of self-explanatory, just go ahead and use it as you need it. You can use optional loops on the side or not. And uh, there you go, you've got a belt. And then if you don't want the belt at all, go ahead and remove them. It's, that, it's pretty much uh, that simple. Just loosen it up and uh, take it off. Another cool feature of this undress version five is that you can change the height of the dress simply by pulling on these spaghetti straps right here. And so you just take these and you pull up and um, you can pull them up in a way that it uh, adjusts the hemline of the dress about 10 inches. It can go all the way up basically to the pocket. And then you simply tie it. Uh, a lot of the girls uh, just tie one side because they like that look. Sometimes you can do both. Um, but basically it gives you an option. It's the first time we've ever had a uh, length adjustable undress. And then if you want to loosen it, just uh, untie, pull down, and voila, you have a full length dress again. All right, this is one of our patented features, a side access opening on the dress. Uh, you're gonna, all you gotta do is unzip the zipper. It gives you access to two things. Uh, number one, you're gonna have, what you see immediately is a pocket. So this is a pocket that can hold stuff, 
credit cards, uh, possibly a phone, keys, stuff like that. But what it also doubles as is a view blocker. So when you come in, you can reach into the dress and access everything that you're wearing underneath. It's literally a hole. So if you pull it open, you can kind of see through and see the mannequin. So that's how you're going to be able to change um, out of uh, your bottoms by using these secret access panels. And that's it. And when you're done, you zip it up so you have a nice, clean, finished look. And there you go. Voila. Okay, so after you tighten the cord lock around your neck as a halter, you can put the strap actually through between the um, opening that's made between the label and the dress itself to tuck it away. You can snap it as an option if you want, and it'll stay. And there you go. Not only can you wear it as a halter, and double strap it, there's another cute way of wearing the rear strap. You can actually tie it in a bow. So all you do is take this and then wrap it up like a bow from both sides and let go. And there you go. It's bowed in the back. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, how to fold the undress into its own self-packing pouch. The first thing you need to find out is where is that pouch? The pouch is actually hidden in the chest lining. If you look at the chest lining, it's multiple layers. Pull it open, that's the pouch. The dress is going to fit inside of there. And the width of the pouch is actually dictated by the seams on both sides of this pocket. So think of it as an upside down pocket in your chest lining. And so how you start is by inverting essentially the pocket like it's gonna swallow as you turn it inside out the rest of the dress. Now you've got the pocket um, shape. You see it? It's based, It's a rectangle. And then now that you've started that and you've got the shape, all you gotta do is put the rest of the dress into that pocket. And how you can do that easiest is by folding it to the width of the actual rectangle pocket. So make it. it's the cleanest way to do it is by folding it Right? So there's a pocket at the end. And now all you gotta do is guide through a few folds the rest of the dress into that pocket. And depending on how tight you want to make this or how clean you wanna make it, you can do it a few different ways. This is just a fast way for us to show you how to get it done. And there it is, packed just like that. Okay, here's the undress bandana uh, that you can wear as a mask and you wear it around your neck. Um, it's actually has a lot of construction in it. Um, so if you pick it up right now, you can see it's basically a tube design, uh, but it also has a pocket inside as well as an elastic on the back. So there's a pocket in here. Some people are wondering what that pocket is for. That's actually so that you can insert a filter if you want. It's a non-medical device, but some people, if you want to throw a filter in there when you're using it as a face covering, you can. Or you can also slip in a credit card, as an example, um, or hide things in this, in this pocket. And you'll see there's another use for that pocket as well later. Um, and then uh, there's also the elastic. The elastic is generally on the back side of your head, so the pocket's on the front. Or you can actually spin it around and wear it uh, with this in the front if you choose to just look in the mirror and you'll see how it looks we also got the label on the back side of the um, uh, the garment as well so you can tell where the front or the back is uh, um, based on that and it's also made of the same fabric as a dress it's an amazing expensive luxurious fabric and it has the same magic print obviously we thought you'd love these and um, they're really useful